take a minute and look around and see someone you don't know. See a stranger in your midst. Now ask that stranger for their name. You have five seconds. One, two, three, four. Now your task this Super Bowl Sunday morning is to remember that name and pray for that person throughout this liturgy. Unlike the Super Bowl, Mass, Liturgy, this gathering that we have, is not a spectator sport. It's not watching the deacon or the priest or the altar servers, the lectors, or being entertained by the, the wonderful canter that we have that you can't take it, your eyes off him. Or being dazzled by our, our maestro in the choir loft. No, it's not that at all. We're involved and engaged. We bring all sorts of uh, things that we want to pray about, happy things, sad things, uh, great hopes we have, desires and joys, but also to pray for the stranger among us. Yesterday, I did this little experiment yesterday in, in, uh, at the vigil mass, and who shows up with my cousin, my cousin Joni and her daughter. Now, I grew up down the street from her, and I said, if no one says hi to her, she'll tell me. She'll tell you, you know, you're, they're not very friendly. So I made sure someone say hi, go say hi to her, say, say hi to her. We're very welcoming. Uh, but bit by, after a couple times you meet people, you don't remember their names, it's embarrassing to ask. So pray for that stranger that you met today. And that's how you build community. Um, Catholics sit in the back and uh, they stand in the back. And those are the good Catholics. And then the strange Catholics come and sit all the way down the front. Because who wants to get this close? We, both myself and the deacon, we look much better from the back row. But the third graders are down front because they'll be able to see what goes on. But boys and girls, it's not just what goes on here, but what goes on here in your heart. Throughout the rest of the Mass, you're gonna be praying for someone. And in the Gospel, we have what Jesus described as a light to show to all other people. But the light is not on your cell phone. So right? that's not the light you're looking at. You're looking for the light of Christ. And you see it in other people. Um, in the Bible, somewhere it says, I should read it more, but somewhere it says, the eyes are the windows to the soul. So you have to look people in the eyes to see their soul. Some people have kind eyes, some people have runny eyes. Tomorrow, a lot of people have bloodshot eyes. But nonetheless, we have to look to them. And everyone, sometimes the light is burning brightly and other times it's not. Sometimes we're described as being the salt of the earth. If someone gives you a bag of potato chips and says, here, I can't have salt, but here's my potato chips. No salt, no thanks. It doesn't taste like anything. It tastes awful. It's like popcorn. You go there and you, you don't put butter on it. You don't have salt on it. The movie's terrible. One year, we got invited by someone, a new host. I want to host Super Bowl next year. This is so much fun in this great big neighborhood in another parish I was at. He said, oh, okay. I don't know what kind of diet this family was on. It was a horrible Super Bowl. It's not the Brits game anyways. The commercials were nice and stuff, but the food was terrible. We were miserable. Why? Because Catholics talk with food in their mouth. They go, the government, right? It's a celebration. At a birthday party, everybody has cake. Although now you can just say, no, I can't have this, I can't have that. Have it, you'll be fine. Because Sunday's a day of celebration. Just like sometimes we give up things for Lent, which happens in less than a month. Oh, here we go again. You have to celebrate on a Sunday. Super Bowl Sunday is a special day, but so is Easter Sunday. It's even more special. But it helps us prepare for those things that are really, really special, like, for instance, your birthday. So let me ask a quick question. What day is your birthday? Yours. And yours.
So for you, those are really important days. That's like the, there's the rest of the year, Christmas and your birthday and Easter. But every day we come to Mass on a Sunday or Saturday night, it's like your birthday. It's a celebration. And so you have to say, what does God want me to be happy about today? It's not a burden. It's a joy. So what are you doing for the rest of the Mass, boys and girls? You're praying for the person you just met, right? And who's the person you just met? What's their name? You forgot our... Ask him again. <laughs> You have to pray for people by their name, and you have to kind of know the story of their life and why they're celebrating or why they're upset or sad. But pray for them, and it helps them because you're saying, God, look, look, help me to love this person. Help me to care for this person. What can I do? And that's cause for a celebration. So boys and girls, enjoy the game. Enjoy the commercials. Enjoy the food. Who am I what? Who am I going for? <laughs> this is my bookie. <laughs> oh, I, it's like talking about politics, you know. I'll just suffice it to say, I studied in Boston.